In the book of Matthew, Jesus is on the mount and he says, let your light shine before men so they, that they will see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. And we really believe as a church and in Church Warrington, you know, we want Jesus to be glorified in everything that we do. And part of that is by serving people in the name of Jesus. Warrington has the poor, it has the middle class and it has the rich. But it seems to me at this time that the poor are getting poorer. A big issue that people are facing is the whole thing of family. Pressure on relationships increases the tension between parents and children and in marriages and seeing the breakup of family. One of the things that the, the good news brings and the church brings is a place of extended family, a place where as God's family, we can welcome the broken, we can strengthen family, we can offer acceptance rather than condemnation for people who've been through tough times in family. One of the greatest challenges that the people of Warrington face is their lack of understanding that they need a saviour. I think that as the church, we, we need to get better at showing the love of yeah. God in a very real way and I think when we get that right I think people will see something very different about our lives. Hi my name is Mike McMahon I am with my wife the lead pastors of Urban Church in Warrington um, we have been in existence as a church for a little over 10 years now originally called Oasis Warrington um, we are a very young and fresh and um, youth focused church with lots of young people around us although we have a good spectrum of ages within the church. And it's, it's a passion of mine to make sure that we invest in young people and get them ready to be the leaders of the next generation of church. Hi, we're Lucas and Sarah, and we lead Life Church Warrington. Life Church Warrington is five churches, and we meet across the town of Warrington. We planted Life Church in 2013. And from there, we were always uh, very intentional that we were going to be a church that planted churches. And so we started in Latchford, and then we planted out to West Warrington. Uh, then we planted a church in Lim, and uh, then we planted a church in North Warrington, in Cinnamon Brow. And more recently, we adopted a church in Goldbourne. Hi there, we're Darren and Jackie, and we lead King's Church. And, uh, We've been married for 31 years. We, we started planting a church out of our home and we grew from, from that um, and currently we uh, uh, meet in the centre of Warrington but we also meet uh, out in bases, three different bases uh, out in the community uh, because we, we, we want to be where people are. Hi, uh, we're um, Catherine and Stuart McPhail. Uh, we're leaders at Hillcliff Baptist Church in Appleton pretty relaxed, um, it's contemporary, um, that's the sort of worship style that we um, enjoy, that we're trying to um, encourage um, and um, it is very much um, a family church, we've got all the generations um, which is just something that's really precious. Uh, my name's Neil Shaw, I'm the Vicar of Christ Church in Padgate which is part of the Warrington East team in the Church of England um, and I'm also the Area Dean for Warrington in the Liverpool Diocese. We have services that are particularly outreach services, we have things like Active Church within the team, we have Messy Church, uh, we're looking to launch a new service or just have done called Space and that stands for um, creating space for God in your lives but it also means songs, prayers, activities, chat and eat and we do the chat and eat first. So I'm John, I'm the pastor here at Bethany Church. I'm Christine, obviously I'm John's wife and together uh, we work at Bethany Church. And the church is multicultural. We have at least six different nationalities who meet together here every Sunday and we do various groups and different things throughout the week. Um, so we're a busy place, it's a busy, a busy church. And I think the most important thing is that we, be, we function as ambassadors, as, as carriers of, the, of the, the life of Jesus Christ wherever we are, that we respond in ways that, that express his glory, that express his value in us, express his life in us, that people might look at us and see Christ in, in that moment. So we're impacting the community um, 
by trying to live as disciples we make disciples and we use the phrase a family on mission we do that in missional households which are groups of up to 12 people and missional communities which can be from 12 to about 30. One we have is called Green Pastures and uh, they're very much passionate about the outdoors and just helping families um, build relationships, strong relationships um, together and also to uh, share the love of Jesus and the, and the message of the gospel with those families. A strong commitment to, um, to serve in the whole of Warrington where we can and we're really blessed with some of the partnerships that we've got in Warrington, Active Hope, Street Pastors, stuff like that that allow BYP. us. BYP, that's a more a local, local one. Yeah, charity. Yeah, my name is Peter McDade. I'm the Warrington Street Pastors Coordinator. And uh, we've been running Warrington Street Pastors now uh, for about three years. So we work out of the town centre. Uh, so we've got a base called Help on the Corner, which we can open up uh, for people to come in, get food, get drink, uh, be safe, get them home. Upstairs. I don't know what I'd have done because boots are made for dancing but not for walking and I'd walked too far and I had no, no shoes on and he <laughs> Thank you very much. So uh, we have five mercy ministries, ministries that are very outward focusing from ourselves that seek to serve the community. So, so one of those is Christians Against Poverty. So we are uh, the cap centre for Warrington and uh, we seek to serve those in our communities that are in debt and uh, through the work of our CAP Centre Manager, uh, we're able to help people and through that ministry we've seen people come to know Jesus. The thing that we have here that is, has been a real tool into the community is the charity shop. Uh, it was, it's what, about eight years old now. One of our ladies went away to a conference, came back with a word from the Lord to open the shop. Uh, I can't say that I was greatly enthusiastic about the idea at the time, uh, but we did it and we can see that this has really been God's shop because not only does it raise support for our ministry in Romania but it has been such a doorway for us into the community. We um, have just recently started uh, an alpha course in this place, it's a cafe called Our Teapot uh, and, and very kindly they let us come in here for free uh, and take alpha in this place. We've had a great course so far, we've seen some people on the edges uh, deepening their commitment to faith and desire to follow God. Another thing that we seek to do is um, through a ministry called The Pantry. The Pantry seeks to give um, food to those who are in need. And so we have pantry pastors at each of our churches that take food into the community. They don't just take food into the community, they take it in Jesus' name. Mm. We have really seen significant growth and development in in young people, not only coming to faith, but starting to mature in their faith and grow in their faith and, and also want to be baptised and to declare their faith publicly. And just hearing stories firsthand of, of young people at school beginning to testify openly about their faith in Jesus and sharing the good news of Jesus with other, other um, teenagers. And also start to experience the, the bit of kickback and, and sort of low level persecution that goes along with that as well, which is very real for them. And but we, we want to say we can see God at work um, and the good news is changing lives. Yeah. You know, I would say that in, in our cafe community that we have folks coming who don't come to church, but um, we get to have really, really incredibly powerful conversations where, you know, folks that are in their 80s and 90s who have never read the Bible um, and don't really know a lot about um, who Jesus is, that we get to share how much we love him and um, share a, a, the joy and just really then commit them to the Lord, you know, and commit their salvation to the Lord and just we want to be part of their faith journey. We felt God called us here for a particular purpose, to be part of the, the work of the church here in the town. And so I feel there is a real sense of destiny and purpose in being here. If we love and trust the Lord Jesus, we are the church. And that's the main thing that we want to do here in Church Warrington, is to show the town that the church is not you in your small corner and I in mine, but the church is together. Yes, it's, it's 
uh, in different areas, there are different faces and different aspects and different traditions, but we're all one in Christ, and that's his church.